everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Wednesday, everyone. So, today I am just kind of free holding the, the camera, and you are looking at this very special little man, Asir. And next to him is Pippi Air. Yay! To those of you new, hello and welcome. Um, Asir is uh, the Sally Sculpt by Bonnie Brown and his artist is Kimberly at Kimberly's Cocoon. Um, and I really actually kind of wanted to show him off a little bit today, but Pipier was like right here, so <laughs> I couldn't help it. Um, and Pipier is... Um, the uh, Tink Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. They are both AA babies. And as you can see, actually, they both have um, uh, pretty different uh, skin tones. They are by different artists and um, different style of painting, both of which I really love. Um, Pipier is much darker. Um, you know, her skin tone is definitely much deeper and darker than Asir. Um, and it's more of like a, hmm, I almost want to say like a velvety look. Um, it's very like, um, I don't even know the right words. I'm not an artist, you know, like multi-toned as I guess you can see like, you know, where it's like, you know, darker here and then it goes a little lighter and darker. Of course, the creasing is is darker, but um, she's just like a little velvet chocolate drop. And I love how the soles of her feet are so much lighter and the hands of her feet um to me that's very realistic you know like when you see a um you know darker skin baby it tends to have that um you know variation there um where the palms and the soles of their feet are a lot lighter than their their skin tone um kind of the darker that they get and it's just so pretty you know she's just so so beautiful and um they both have um a different kind of uh mohair i'm pretty sure um but they both have um kind of wild curls uh lots of hair and wild curls which i absolutely adore i just you know this is my favorite favorite hair on a reborn for sure um, so Mr. Asir, and he is, um, I'll pull his sock down. He is painted. I don't know if I ever really showed his painting in details because when I got him, um, it was before Christmas. He was actually Kimberly's last baby of 2017. And Asphoria, um, which is the Sky Sculpt by Marita Winters, was her first baby of 2018. And I just happened to, um, you know, get these two babies. Now, um, Asir, I was um, first on his uh list for the for the Sally kit um so I got to enjoy the experience of seeing um his works in progress which was it it was an honor you know it was a lot a lot of fun to see that he wasn't accustomed in any way shape or form just I uh, you know I had first right or refusal um on this on the kit it you know should Kimberly decide not to keep him I, I think she reserves the right for all of her babies I'm pretty sure anyway um but I had you know as a customer first right of refusal so anyway it was really cool to get to kind of see that process and then when he you know was born um because I think the last work in progress photo that I saw was like just you know the hair rooting so it was just showing the rooted head the hair was straight down the the head was mapped you know that sort of thing so just to see all of a sudden pop there he is and then you know she put a picture with the little glasses and I just oh my I mean 
if there was ever a moment <laughs> that I knew a baby was just belonged to me, I mean, there was just, I, you know, this little guy popped up on, you know, and I was just, I, I physically had to sit down. I was so like, well, first I squirmed and did like a dance and shrieked. And then I was just like, <gasps> and I had to sit down. <laughs> um, because to me, he's, he's that special. He's that absolutely just he's my boy he's my boy so anyway what I was saying and then cut myself off of course as usual was that it was back in December and I'm not sure that when I did box openings that I even did detail videos of babies back then I would honestly have to go and look but most certainly um you know my channel has grown immensely since then so I'm thinking that many of you may not have seen close-up details of Asir and me kind of talking about him. So I thought today that I would do that. I actually am going to move a little Pierre. Yes, little girl. Isn't she just, look at that little, isn't she just a little sweetie pie? She is just, I mean, her little tiny self I mean Tink in itself you know the sculpt is just any of you that have Tink and that you know enjoy um tiny babies it you know you know you know that Bonnie Brown just knocked it out of the park on her <laughs> um and uh you know she is my little you know, dream AA tink, I mean, you know, anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna move her, and, and I would say, honestly, I thought tink was, would have been smaller, you know, from pictures and stuff, it, it's funny, because she's bigger than you think, but yet, she's still so tiny, I mean, look at her there next to Asir, and Asir's pretty small, you know, he's, um, a true newborn size, he fits, fits in newborn clothing perfectly, in fact, they're, you know, so it, they're a little baggy, like this one, onesie is newborn, it's, it's not tight in any way, you know, it's a nice loose fit, the way that I like for my babies, um, so, you know, he's a small baby, but look at, you know, Tink next to him, she's, you know, uh, well, she's certainly not half his size, but she's a lot smaller, you know, but again, I was a little, you know, more surprised, I was like, wow, Tink is not, you know, as, um, uh, you know, as quite as tiny as, as I thought, and, um, she fits in, um, larger preemie and, newborn some newborn clothes like if a, if something newborn runs small or it's been washed and shrunk it fits great I had gotten a couple preemie pieces um like second hand that were I could see were washed and probably dried and they were too small I couldn't even get them on her so you know she's she's definitely like I said she's not like as She's not like a micro, you know, preemie. She's, you know, like a baby, you know, a whole baby. <laughs> not that a micro preemie isn't a whole baby, but I don't know. She's She's got something to her. Um, and, of course, Pipier, I have waited to my liking, which I kind of used Harley as my example because I felt she was weighted very, you know, much to my liking and perfectly so you know she they're heavy you know she's got a, a very heavy head and um she's probably almost got as much weight to her as Asir does um but uh you know yeah that's that's how I weighted her so all right I am going to just move her over here and lay her whoopsie there we go baby there we go sweet girl my pen over here. Let me just lay her right there. Oh, I can't leave her not covered. Just laying on the bed. There we go, sweetie. <laughs> All right. Anyways, there we go. All right. 
looking at Ossia. Hi, little man. Look at that face. That face. I mean, he is, he's just, you know, the sculpt done well, the Sally sculpt by Bonnie Brown um, is just, you know, so absolutely adorable and, you know, has a lot of very realistic features. Um, and I just, I love the big ears. That was the first thing that drew me to the sculpt and, you know, the, the face, the little, you know, puckered lips and the little chipmunk cheeks and it just, ah, oh, just the cuteness. And then of course we have these feet that are these, you know, splayed toes. They're just such expressive hands and feet on this baby, um, so, you know, his painting is phenomenal, you know, um, it, 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 I mean, he is just, first off, look at the beautiful coloring, the blushing on his knees, his creasing is, is perfect. He also has, you know, the, the soles of his feet and hand, palms and feet, um, soles of his feet are lighter, and, you know, he has a lighter skin tone than Pipier, so it's not as drastic of a difference. But, of course, it's it's correct, you know, for sure. But look at that foot. And he has a lot of mottling on him. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. And I have the shades closed, too. I really should have opened them. But... Um, I don't know if you all can see, but he's got a lot of mottling on him and little, they almost look like capillaries, um, that he has. And he's got little, you know, he's got little rolls on his upper, inner upper thighs, and he's got a nice defined, like, um, you know, calf. Um, both his legs are, um, I would say slightly bent or more bent, not totally curled up, but they're, you know, both bent at the knees. Um, he's got a fabulous body because it just, he's proportioned very, very well. And to me, his body is lanky and it allows for, um, you know, a, a really awesome hold and lots of like, look, I'm picking him up under his back and I mean obviously you could see how far his head falls back you know his head's very realistic feeling but he's he's really really poseable um and he's really um it, there is nothing like having us in your arms <laughs> there's just nothing uh you know as much as I you know adore and other babies and like even um um Adelaide how awesome she feels and realistic like there's just something magical about having us here in your arms um there just is uh he's even got the round you know little pot belly um he, he's just he's I, you know to me he's he's absolutely perfect and um like I said, his paint, it, the, the painting on him is wow, wow. And I kind of realized like, wow, did I ever really, you know, um, show this and and show you all what, you know, the details of Asir and his painting? I, you know, again, I'm not sure that I did. So, you know, I felt that that was something that I wanted to do and to have here in my journey, my vlog, however you want to say it. Um, I love that he has some birthmarks. He, he has one right here, um, in like right at the top of his neck, right below like the first roll in his chin. Um, he has one up on his, um, ear. That's his left ear up there up top. I know he has one in his head, which was really cool. I would have to actually, you know, look through his hair to find it. But, you know, it was cool because I got to see that during his work in progress to know it was there, which was very special to me. And then his glasses often cover this one, but he has a really pretty one right above. That's his right eye. So it's kind of like at the 
under, you know, a little bit under his eyebrow, but up by the bridge of his nose up there. You know, it's just a little birthmark, but it just gives him so much character. His eyebrows are painted um, just absolutely gorgeous. They're textured, you know, so they're, they just, oh my gosh. His eyes are, um, I think they're, they're glass. I think they're considered the newborn eyes. So they're a deep brown, but if you, you're not, I'm not going to be able to get you in there on this lighting, unfortunately, but it, on, you know, the circle around the brown is blue. Um, it's just, you know, it, it's not, it doesn't stand out like unrealistically at all. It's just when you get up really, really close it, you can see, and it's very realistic. And his eyelashes are um, rooted on the top. They're more like sparsely rooted um, lashes, which I like for him. You can probably kind of barely see them in the in the video, but it's just perfect for him. And then he has painted lower lashes, which, I mean, look at that. It just looks like there's lashes on there, like very, very realistic. And, of course, we have his... Little John Lennon round glasses that just like, you know, complete his little look. And his hair is just, it's like touching heaven. It's just so amazingly soft. And all these big, beautiful, wild, black, crazy curls just all over his head. Um, I love, you know, they come down on the sides, um, which is, let me take his glasses off for a minute, um, which is also like, you know, when I move his hair, just so realistic, you know, Kimberly is, you know, she's an amazing artist. Look at how that goes down and look at all the hair fluffing out there. Like, look at how real that is. Just, oh my goodness. He's got a white hair of probably a dog's hair. <laughs> I'm trying to get it out, but I'm looking through the camera. And, you know, you can still see his ears, you know, um, that he has the kind of big ears that, that stick out. But that, you know, it's it's just with all those curls. <laughs> it's just so cute. So there he is without the glasses. You all see him a lot with the glasses. Um, and I feel like different angles of his face, like sometimes he looks like he's about to cry or like he's put a lemon in his mouth or something. And then, you know, sometimes he looks like he's about to break in in a smile. And sometimes he's in deep thought. And then often he looks like he might be up to some mischief. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, little man. Little man, man. So, um, you know, he, um, Asir is, you know, you, you all hear me say it all the time. Let me put his glasses back on. But he is, you know, he's my pride and joy. He has that extra slice, piece in my heart that, you know, um, when we talk about like bonding and stuff it's it's beyond that you know he has a sentimental value to me that goes above above the art above you know ev ev anything you know if you know if god forbid I was ever faced with a choice and it would be absolutely heartbreaking to me especially for there's a few baby you know like it really would be but if I had no choice and I could only keep one of my reborns Asir would be it you know I would never want to have to make that choice because it you know there's you know many of them that mean a lot to me for for different reasons um you know, which is why I have more than one baby in my collection. Um, but, you know, he's he's just, you know, there's just something about him that's, you know, so special to me. Um, and I think it's interesting because, like, 
Well, actually, I'm wondering, not that I think it's, well, I think it's all interesting, but I'm wondering, do you all have a favorite baby? Now, I know, you know, we're not supposed to pick favorites or see favorites. So, and you all know, uh, you know, anyone that's been with my channel for pretty much any amount of time knows that most of the my collection here is extremely, extremely special to me. And, you know, different babies have different, you know, features or different reasons that make them so special to me. So I, I don't say that lightly when I say, you know, that Asir has that just that little extra special place in my heart. Like I don't say that lightly and I don't have like my the rest of my collection in order of like favorite to least favorite like I've never looked that way I just know that Asir has that that little extra chunk in there of my heart if you all know what I mean so yeah I'm wondering you know do you all have a favorite baby in in your collection and why I'd love to hear about that baby and what um you know what sculpt it is who it is what what their name is what they look like all that um just out of curiosity you know like if you if you had no choice and you had to choose you know for whatever the reason, you know, I, just, just curious, you know, I doubt that I would ever be faced with that choice that I would have to get, you know, not be able to keep all my babies except one, but hey, you never know what life throws at you. But anyway, I was just curious and I was enjoying, um, this little man, man, for sure. I enjoy him every single day for sure. Um, and you know, I've had so many new babies coming in that I'm like, oh, everybody's getting video time and photo time and me time. And it, of course, they're, they're dolls. They're not, <laughs> they don't have feelings. They don't know that you're, <laughs> you're taking more pictures of one than the other. We all know this. Um, but just as far as for myself, I want to make sure I get my Asir time. And you know what? It's funny because, um, you know, I really enjoy the clothing part of it. And I feel like the ones that I have more, like nice new outfits for that I want to change them into I feel like I'm interacting with those dolls more um because of that and um this is truly my first summer like in full swing of the collecting um I did have the reborns last summer um you know I had but it was before the Twinkies it was before Instagram it was before YouTube so I had just you know minimal you know clothing and I probably spent you know a lot less time with them and stuff so this is full swing you know the Twinkies and all the babies in my current collection came from uh the Twinkies came in what late September or early October something like that so I have not gone through a full summer yet and there's a lot of babies here now so I couldn't go buy wardrobes for every baby for every season. You know, that has to happen as the as I go along and collecting. You know, I can't do that all at once. So somehow I kind of realized that, wow, I don't have really any newborn boy summer stuff. Asir came with such beautiful things from, you know, Kimberly and his box opening when he was sent that it was like to me, he had a win his winter wardrobe, and I just didn't think about summer. Now, um, I recently, and please, y'all, stop putting up clothing sales on IG because I'm like, I can't help myself here. Uh-oh. Anyway, um, I had done one sale. I don't think that really had any newborn boy stuff in it, but another sale that I think is getting shipped today, which was a really nice sale, ha I did get a few um newborn boys um things not necessarily summer but more lighter weight and in like baby blue colors and stuff that I could put on him now put it that way so um 
Because I was like, I have to, you know, order something. He's he's my main man, and he does. He has the least. Like I've got other babies now that have lots of summer stuff. It just happened that way. Either they came with the stuff in the box opening, or that you know their size and gender stuff. I got a really good deal on sale, or someone sent happy mail, or whatever the case may be. And like I said, I just realized, like, oh my gosh, I see our, you know, I really didn't have much to change them into. So I have a few things coming. So I'm excited about that. And this onesie's been around. All the babies have worn it, but he hasn't yet. So the snuggle is real, is real for this little man. Yes, it is. Look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. Yes, you're missing your glasses. What's that tummy? What's that tummy? Anyways, all right, yeah, I've held you on for 25 minutes just yapping about Asir. <laughs> um, but heck, all right, so I get, did a video two days in a row here because, you know, it's the summer, so there's no rhyme or reason. It's when I get a chance, and, you know, it could be, it could go, I could go four or five days without making a video. I could be back on tomorrow. Who knows? All right, everyone, thanks for checking out my mean little man here. Let him blow kisses mwah, to all his aunties and special kisses mwah, for his godmommy, Renee, over at Random Reborns. And mwah, to his special cousin, Charlie, who they happen to be the same sculpt. So, yeah, you want to talk about another really, really unique and special baby? Go check out um Renee's little girl Charlie over at Random Reborns um it's she is the Sally sculpt as well so um yeah since we're talking about little Asir there's another little special Sally out there and I've seen you know I've seen some cute ones now along the way um you know once I had the sculpt and was looking out for it but I do have to say I don't see this sculpt that often. I don't see this sculpt near as often as many other sculpts that you you know you see out there, um, for sure. So, and it's certainly a really, really, you know, I don't know why we don't see more of it, but anyway. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching today. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. Um, check in if you're not subscribed, please feel free to, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video and get invites to my lives. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks so much for stopping by today. God bless.